Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Man Channel. Um, I'm going to decided to do a cooking video right now. Uh, I've been kind of wanting to show you guys the recipe for this for a while, so I figured, eh, what the hell. I'm hungry. It's like 7 o'clock and I'm freaking starving, so uh, I'm going to make burritos. And basically, these are all the ingredients you need to make my burritos. Uh, this is two pounds of 93.7 ground beef. You got three cans of Rosarita traditional uh, refried beans. You can also use the non-fat, which are just as good. Uh, one thing of diced potatoes. It's important you get diced and not sliced or whole. Uh, you'll see why later. One large can of green chilies. If you want, you can also add one second. One small can of diced jalapenos for flavor, if you like spice, but my girlfriend doesn't, so I don't add them. Then I add two cans of sliced olives. Uh, you can also only add one of these. Uh, it depends on how much you like olives, I love them. You can also add two cans of these, uh, if you want. But the main flavor comes from the meat here, and Lowry's taco seasoning. Not burrito seasoning, it tastes different. But taco seasoning, they each make one pound of ground beef, so I need two packets. And with those, you need a cup and a third of water. So there's the ingredients, and I'll show you guys the next step when the meat hey guys, is brown. I forgot to mention, when you're uh, browning the meat, you have to make sure you break it up into little itty bitty chunks. That way everything blends together later on. So, just keep that in mind. Okay, now the next time you see me should be the next step. Okay, okay guys, uh, after the meat is finished browning, what you do is you dump out all the excess grease through a strainer and then you pour the taco seasoning packets on top of it and pour the water in. So just like that, a cup and a third of water, like it says so on the back of the uh, taco seasoning packets. Pour that in so it quiets it down there. And then all you have to do is just start mixing that in. And basically you're going to want to cook this down until pretty much all this water is boiled off. And then you're going to start putting in the rest of the ingredients. So I'll, I'll catch you guys at that step. Okay, so now we have the meat all cooked, all the flavors soaked in at this point. Uh, there's just a little bit of water left at the bottom, which is kind of what you want. It kind of helps the whole mix stay sort of, not quite liquidy, but, you know, it's not just going to be a mess at the end. <laughs> and the next step we're going to do is we're going to put in the uh, refried beans and just give it a really good stir. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, guys, after you put in the, uh, what is it called? Oh, God, refried potato. Uh, Refried beans. I can't freaking talk today. If you put in these things, <laughs> uh, it should look about like this. And then slowly as it heats up, it's going to become a little bit more liquid. And at that point, we are going to put in the diced potatoes and then give it a little bit of a stir. Uh, depending on what heat you put this on, this will take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, I personally recommend cooking it a little slower because I think it brings out the flavor a little more. Uh, Ultimately, if you cook it my way, it's going to take you about 45 minutes to cook. See there, it's already starting to... There you go. Uh, about 45 minutes to cook, and it turns out just tasting delicious. Also, add whatever cheese you want. Uh, sharp cheddar is a really good choice. And also, Mexican blend goes really well. And uh, I personally enjoy it with <coughs> Lala's tortillas. I just think they taste the best out of all the tortillas I've tried it with. Although it is an Arizona brand, so I'm supporting my uh, local businesses. There you go. I'll catch you in with you guys the next okay, part. Okay guys, uh, we're up to the next step now. I'm about to dump in the fresh cut diced potatoes. I wonder how fresh that is. Uh, you can also use, you know, not canned potatoes for this, but for convenience, I just like to use the can. It's like a buck. And I didn't have to take all the time to chop them. Um, yeah, I'm lazy. You know, whatever. Uh, I actually want it to be a little bit more liquid than this, but it's starting to get there, and actually I'm having a little bit of problems with burning, even though I turned down the temperature. So I'm just going to go ahead and put them in now, and I'm going to let it become liquid with a little more mass in there, so it has a little less problem this time. So here you go, just dump them all in, and then start stirring, and reach over. And basically you want it until you don't really see any groups of potatoes anymore. Uh, you basically don't even want to see any touching. So just keep stirring, get them down at the bottom there. And then once we're done with this, I will let this cook in for about five minutes. 
And then we move on to the fun part, the chilies and the olives. So I will catch up with you guys in about five minutes. Hey guys, uh, just been like a minute since I put the potatoes in, but I completely spaced. And I forgot to put the lid on this whole time, that's why it hasn't been cooking right. So, basically every part after you have the meat done, put the lid on. You know, stir every once in a while. Because everything will cook easier and faster, and I am an idiot. Okay, catch you the next part. Okay guys, uh, we are at the next part. Uh, because I'm an idiot and screwed up and didn't have the lid on, it's going to be a little drier than normal, but it should still be fine. We're going to go ahead and put in the green chilies. I prefer Mikhail's diced green chilies. Uh, i got to be diced, by the way, and roasted and peeled because it just tastes better. And then you don't have to dice them yourself. Again, you can. You can do all this with ingredients that you do yourself. Uh, to my knowledge, I don't know how to make refried beans, but you could do that, I suppose. Uh, so, and we put in the chilies and the olives at the same time because they are the things most likely to burn in this and lose flavor. So go ahead and dump them in. I know that's a lot of olives. If you don't like olives, uh, you don't have to use that much. But I love them, so I do. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and stir that in. And then we're going to let it sit for about another, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. And then we're going to show you guys the finished product. And hopefully you'll want to make it yourself. If you do, uh, great. If you don't, well, whatever. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Uh, okay guys, catch it Actually, then. I decided to show you guys real quick just what it looks like all mixed together. Uh, zoom in there. See there? It's all gooey. Has the, uh, you can see the meat, the beans, the potatoes. Uh, the chilies kind of disappear, but they, you can really smell them. Uh, and you've got smell of vision <laughs> Uh, and the olives, obviously. And just look how good that looks. Imagine how good it's going to look in about five, ten minutes when it's all done. And you can just imagine how good it's going to taste. Okay guys, catch you at the end. Okay guys, here we are at the very end. The food is all done, the spoon sticks straight up. It just stays. Um, it's a little less juicy than I'd like, but that's my own fault. So, oh well. And uh, I'm about to let it cool off, and the stove's all off now. And we are about to eat some delicious food. I recommend eating this with uh, a cheese of your choice. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's a mosquito. Cheese your choice. Uh, sour cream also goes very well with this, as well as some sort of hot sauce or taco sauce. Uh, my personal favorite is Mikayo's taco sauce and chip dip. It's this one. It's the medium kind. Uh, I just think it tastes really good with it. If you can find it, it's hard to find, actually, sometimes, if you're not in Arizona. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and uh, I'm going to try and do a few more cooking videos here at some point, as well as getting back to my normal videos about guns and gear and shooting stuff and cigars and yada yada yada. <laughs> okay guys, thanks for watching and I will catch you next time.